Hi, Brian from Airflow Music here. Welcome back to another video. It's a different one today. I haven't done much talking about gear and equipment and stuff like that, so it's a video of that sort, particularly because I have a box that came in the mail. And believe it or not, this little box here contains a trumpet. Okay, so as you know, if you've seen any of my videos before, I've made all kinds of videos about exercises and things over the last three years, but I've never unboxed anything. Totally new territory for me. Like everybody else who's watched YouTube, I've seen other people unbox things, but I realise I really don't have the space or any kind of good camera angle to deal with this, so please bear with me. Let's get this done. But here's the box. I've carefully rigged a music stand to put it on. And, um, yeah, have a sharp knife to get into the package and let's see what's inside here shall we okay so here we go that was probably edited down a little bit or sped up or something and unbelievably yes here's what we have inside of this box is a little trumpet case Wow, look at this thing. So, we have right here, we have a utility kit of some description. It's got some valve oil, looks like a plastic mouthpiece. Maybe some tuning slide grease and a couple other bits and pieces. We'll look at what's inside there in just a moment. And, yeah, here's the main event. Look at this. This is the Carol Brass Pocket Trumpet. Um, I'll have the precise model number and what have you written down below or probably flashing on screen round about now. And yeah, so unbelievably there's a trumpet in here. I'm just going to get this out of the bag and we'll see what else is up with it. So yes, this is now out of its plastic bag and this is the case. A uh, nice little case right here, a little zippy pocket on the front which seems to have a shoulder strap in it. I'm seeing this for the first time just as you are and I'm probably blocking my face as I do it because like I said I've never done an unboxing before. But let's fire this thing open and see what's inside. So, nice little zipper case, flip the lid and yes, sure enough there is a trumpet in here. Hmm. Right, let's grab this. Right, so, there we go, a trumpet. This is the Carol Brass, made in Taiwan, and yeah, a couple of little cable ties and what have you, holding everything together. Nice little case, uh, silica gel in there, keeping everything dry. But other than that, nothing really inside. Here we have, nice little trumpet. So, first impressions, finish looks good, everything seems to be put together well. Couple design things in the way it's wrapped, which look interesting. And yeah, tune and slide moves. Yeah, good. Mono water keys, it's got all of that good stuff. Right, so, yeah, overall it's very impressive. Very small, really very small. I've never really had a pocket trumpet before, so that's interesting to me. Let me get rid of this music stand out of the way, and yeah, let's see what this thing is all about. Okay. So there's a slightly closer look at the trumpet itself and now let's take a closer look at what's in that utility pouch that came with it. Um, the things we have in here are a cleaning cloth, nice carol brass polishing cloth there. Good idea to keep the finish working nicely on the horn. Uh, we also have a bag with some tuning slide grease and some valve oil. And uh, that's really nice to have in there. Um, 
you know, obviously the sort that they recommend will work really well with the horn. And that's some good quality tuning slide grease and valve oil as well, so that's really nice. And if you have this pocket trumpet as your first trumpet, for instance, and you're not familiar with what to do with valve oil and tuning slide grease, there's also some literature in here with a quick start guide card, and also this little booklet where showing some of the features of the instruments, uh, different instruments in the Carol Brass series, and also this really useful kind of guide, pictorial guide to what to do in terms of oiling valves, greasing slides, that kind of thing. And that's super helpful, that's really nice to see, and you know, that's information I wish I'd had when I had my first trumpet. So the other thing we have in the pouch there is this plastic mouthpiece. Uh, it says it's a Calbrass 7C Slim, as you can see, if I can get focal distance right, get to autofocus on that. Yeah, there it is, definitely. And you know, pretty standard looking mouthpiece. My personal impression looking at that is that the rim shape may be a little narrower than the standard Bark 7C and the cup therefore a little wider, but Seems like a perfectly decent size. So we'll try that out. So, in point of fact, what we should do is grab the trumpet and put the mouthpiece in it. Um, right. My first personal thing with this is that I've never had a pocket trumpet before, as I said, and so I need to figure out the correct way to hold this. Um, I've got fairly big hands, so... My first instinct is to maybe kind of cradle it in my hand. I'm not sure how that's going to work with the slide, but let's try a couple of notes and see how that is if we do it that way. Okay, so that throws the intonation off. So, oh, I see what we should do. Okay, so this thumb ring here, we should put the thumb in there and then it looks like there's space to get fingers through the other side of the valves under the pipes there. Let's see if that's any better. That's probably going to fix some things up. Yeah, much better. Okay, so that's how to hold this um, for the uninitiated because I didn't see any information about that in the booklet. Um, There's no specific information uh, in the quick start guide or anything to this horn particularly in terms of holding it and things like that. Um, but, yeah, that's how you want to do that. So, your left hand, thumb in the ring there, and then fingers through above that pipe and through under the bell. And that way you can hold it nice and easily, even if you've got smaller hands than me, and it plays nicely. Yeah. And... First impressions of this, yeah, straight away, it sounds nice. The mouthpiece totally works. The plastic mouthpiece, I've never had a plastic mouthpiece before either, and that feels a little strange to me. Um, and the size itself is, is not my personal preference, but there appears to be nothing wrong with the mouthpiece. It's just not my size. Uh, I'd be like wearing a pair of shoes that was the wrong size. But we'll try it out a little bit, and then I'll try it with my metal mouthpiece as well and see what that's about. Uh, so let's just play a couple of things and just see how it is up and down the horn and how things work. feels really good. Now, personally, because I have my own mouthpiece and, you know, something that I'm used to playing on, which is the right size for me, that's one I'm going to switch to. Um, as I say, absolutely nothing wrong with this plastic mouthpiece. It seems to work just fine. It's just not my size, okay? So I'm going to switch to that and then we can really get a sense of how this plays, because it will take a random factor away for me. So this is my regular middle-of-the-road mouthpiece that I play for most of my work, which you've seen many times on videos before. Let's see how that works. Yeah, 
Shooting seems really good. The slots seem nice and solid. They're in a slightly different place to my regular B flat trumpet that I'm accustomed to. But that's just a matter of getting adjusted uh, to playing on this one. It's a little strange to have everything so close in. But, you know, that's just my personal thing. Trying a pocket trumpet for the first time. I can easily get used to it. Seems to work really well. So let's just try the slots up and down and see how the, all the intonation is and see how it is up and down from like high C to the bottom of the horn. Well, nothing wrong with that. Sounds good. I really like how this plays, actually. Um, yeah. It's quite remarkable, actually. I've got to say, for something that's so small and really kind of fits in the palm of my hand, to, as strange as it is to say it, to really sound like a trumpet. That's yeah, really impressive. Um, let me see how do the slots work for playing slurs and flexibilities and things. Nice and smooth. Good all the way up and down. Um, yeah, <laughs> really like how this plays. It's fantastic. Uh, let me just see, let's see what the slots are like above high C and then how everything connects together with the middle and low registers. Yeah, what's great up to high G. Um, I'm still finding my feet with where the slots lie, but they seem nice and even. It just doesn't blow quite the same as my trumpet that I'm accustomed to. But no problem with it. It sounds great. Um, feels really good to play up there. Again, surprising for something so small that it should slot so well in the upper register. Let's see if the slot's above that. All the way up to double high C. Unbelievable. This thing is great. Let's see how it is going down. Yeah. Really nice and even. Across the whole scale, all the way up and down. That's absolutely fantastic. I can't fault it. So really the acid test of this is going to be to take it and play it with other people and see how it goes there. So to that end, I have a gig in the, a big band gig in the park coming up. Let's take it over there, play it a little there and come back with some final thoughts.
Okay, so back at once again. Different day now, actually, but there we go. Um, that was with A.R. Vilner and his big band in Washington Square Park in New York City. And big thanks to A.R. for trusting me to uh, test out the trumpet while I was playing with his band. Really appreciate that. Anyway, so um, impressions from playing that. Uh, actually, out in the world as well as just sitting here in the studio. This trumpet plays really, really well. Um, like I said, I've never had a pocket trumpet before, so it still takes some getting used to. I did just play that one tune in the park with it, but it worked really well. The uh, only thing that's kind of strange about it is how loud it seems when the bell is so much closer to your face than a regular trumpet. That was kind of freaky to begin with, honestly. Um, but in terms of how it plays and how it sounds, judge for yourself. You just heard it, and that's if you've seen other trumpet cam clips from me before, that's the same camera I always use. So that should be a fair representation of the sound. But yeah, this. It plays really, really well. Um, now, it's perhaps not practical for something like a big band gig like that, uh, just because um, mutes don't fit real well. They, they fit and they sit, but it, you know, it's sticking out the bed a little far. You're not going to get the full sound. You'd need an adjustable cup mute uh, because that's not really a close enough cup for the sort of things I usually do in any case. Um, but a practice mute fits in it just fine, and it's great for practicing with. It plays nice and even all the way up and down. It sounds like a trumpet. So what can you say? There's nothing more to be said about that, really. I really, really like this horn. So, you know, who should be looking at a pocket trumpet like this? For me, there's two obvious groups of people who might want to use this horn. Um, be a great horn for beginners particularly younger beginners on the trumpet because it's not so big to hold um, compared to a regular B-flat trumpet. Um, you know, I got shunted onto cornets rather than trumpet when I was young because it was a little easier to hold up. And it's not an expensive in instrument. It's not a super cheapy, but it's really good quality, really outstanding quality. And uh, check it on Amazon just now, and you'll be able to check for yourself at the link below. Um, the price right now seems to be $482. That's US dollars um, that you can pick one of these up for. And, you know, so that's not a super cheapy, but that's a very reasonably priced trumpet, particularly for the quality of this thing. And so for beginners, I think that would be a great option. You've got useful things like the valve oil and what have you, and the plastic mouthpiece to get you started. And yeah, really, really solid option. Uh, the second group of people who will probably want a pocket trumpet like this uh, for something other than simple kind of novelty value will be the group that I would actually fall into myself, which is I'm going to be using this as a practice home when I'm traveling. So if I'm going on vacation or I'm taking a trip where I'm not there for a gig, you know, once the world reopens and we can actually travel places, uh, this is going to be much easier to transport around. It plays great all the way up and down the horn. It feels to me, apart from that, the just the physical dimensions of it, like playing a regular B-flat trumpet, regular full-size, you know, trumpet we're used to looking at. Um, so for that purpose, this and a practice mute, I'm all about this. If I'm on vacation, I just want to play a few minutes a day, or, you know, do a little practice there, but I'm not gigging any place or whatever. I've just proved that you can play a gig on it and it worked just fine. But, you know, just for kind of taking with you, throwing in a bag, you know, on your lunch break at work or when you're away traveling, you don't want to carry too much, but you want to be able to practice. Really great option for the folks who like to sit in their cars in the parking lot and practice on their lunch breaks and things like that. Again, really good option. It's not going to take so much space. It can be a little easier in front of the windshield. Um, so people like that, again, really, really well-built instrument. Excellent quality, really well put together. Plays really nicely. Yeah, what can I say? As you can tell, I heartily recommend this thing, and I'm going to really enjoy playing it. Um, I think apart from anything else, this is going to be my uh, practice mute in, sitting in front of the ball game of an evening, playing some extra scales and long tones sort of horn just so it's a little less cumbersome than the full-size trumpet. Um, yeah, but the Carol Brass Mini Pocket Trumpet.
Uh, it's the CPT, what does it say? CPT 1000 YSS B flat. Um, yeah, I heartily recommend this thing and I'm really very grateful. Thank you, Carol Brass, for sending this to me for me to try it out. It's, um, yeah, really extraordinary little instrument. I look forward to playing it a lot more. Yeah, if you'd like to try one of these out yourself, I heartily recommend it. As I say, it's available on Amazon.com in the US. Um, you'll find a link in the description below this video. And you'll also find a coupon code, which Carol Brass have kindly offered, which is for 5% off a single purchase. Um, this video will be going live for you sometime in early May 2021. And the coupon code, I believe, is valid through the end of July 2021. Um, so you've got some time to pick one up. Like I say, 5% off a single purchase. It sounds great to me. And the list price of this, as I look at it right now, is a uh, chain short of 482 US dollars, which is an outstanding price for an instrument of this quality. It really is. I heartily recommend it. So, anyway, um, this has been kind of a long video. And sorry about that, but I think it was worthwhile to really check this one out a little bit and give you my honest impression of it. Um, Carol Brass did send this to me to review, but they didn't pay me for this review. These are all my own opinions, uh, just to make that clear to you. And my opinion is that I really like this horn, so I'm not sure how better I can put it than that. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. And um, I'll be back to kind of more regularly scheduled programming shortly as I have some time coming up get back to some more exercises and some more trumpet tips so if you have questions for me uh please do ask them in the comments below if you'd like more information about this trumpet i'll try and answer any questions you have and other than that until we meet again in another video uh, i guess you know what to do i'm going to take this and do it you should go practice